Hello friends, my name is Srikanth Ramdol and I have been solving a lot of question papers on engineering graphics from different universities. Specifically speaking, JNTU has all its answer keys made from me for the past three years. And these answer keys are used by the faculty members to do the correction of the actual exam papers solved by the students. Today we will be solving a problem on diagonal scales. So this is how a diagonal scale looks like. Let me keep these two scales side by side so that you can make out the difference between them. One big difference that you can see between these two is that this is a lot more thinner when compared to the diagonal scale. Diagonal scale ta is taking up a lot more space when compared to the plane scale. But at the same time, it's able to measure the length a lot more precisely. Whereas the plane scale is just able to measure up to 0.1 meters this scale over here is able to measure even a minute test, minute test of the small distance of 0 0.01 meters. That is the precise reason why we are going for diagonal scale instead of the plane scale. So what we are doing here in this scale is taking this small division, this small division and further dividing that small division into 10 more divisions. Now that is very difficult to do over here within this small space. Now how are we achieving that then? Let me explain before going for the actual problem. So I'll just take the space over here. Let me take a slightly larger distance to make my point clear. I will take a distance of 20 mm here and I will make a diagonal scale out of it. The height of a diagonal scale is usually taken as 50 if you want 10 divisions to be made in it. Next, I'll just complete this rectangle. Now let us say we want to divide this length into 10 parts. Now because this length, we are assuming it to be very very small, we cannot do so directly. So to do that, we usually take our diagonal. And this diagonal will help us divide this small length into 10 more divisions. This length over here, I had taken it as 20. And the vertical length, I have taken it as 50. Now I have to take offset of 5 mm from the bottom line and go on taking the same measure up. The diagonal here is dividing this 20 into 10 equal parts. So let us see how is that happening. You can see these two, the distance between these two is 2, these two is 4, these two is 6, these two is 8 and so on. You can see each of these parts are divided by one tenth of 20. And by going up on the diagonal instead of left or right, we can get the different increments. Now that we are done with the explanation, let us see what the problem statement is. So the problem wants us to draw a diagonal scale to read meters, decimeters and centimeters. It should be long enough to measure 6 meters and it should have a representative factor of 1 is to 40, which is same as the previous case. Finally, we have to mark a distance of 4.76 meters on this diagonal scale. So we have to do the usual calculations just like in the plane scales. We have to take the RF, this is the formula. Then the maximum length we have to find in terms of the drawing scale which comes out to be same as 15 centimeters. Now we need to start drawing the scale. Let me keep this scale aside to compare it later. And here we will start preparing a new one. So first we need to take the total length. The total length is 15 centimeters. So take line command, L enter, click the left point and take a length of 150 because we are giving it in mm. Next give the divide command, div enter. Select the line you want to divide and the number of divisions you want to make on it, which is 6 in this case. Now again take line command by L enter. From this end point go straight up a distance of 50. Feed it from the keyboard. Then take a horizontal line and press escape. Take line command once again. Start here and click here. Trim off the extra line that you have. Now you can copy this line to all the points. CO enter is the copy command. Pick it from this point and go on placing the line 
at all these points. These are the main scale divisions, distance between each of the lines being 1 meter. Now we need to subdivide the first part of it. Because this line is completely getting selected, we don't want this. We have to draw another line overlapping this one. You can see this line is different from this one. Now press escape, give the divide command, select this line, give 10 divisions, press enter. You can see here that this length has got divided into 10 equal parts. Now to get the diagonal, take line command, start at the first point after the start and go straight up. Instead of going straight up, click here this corner to get the diagonal. Take the diagonal, give the copy a command, pick it from this base point and continue copying it to all the points that are dividing the line into 10 equal parts. Once you are done, you can delete all these points as well as these points. Now we need to divide this length of 50 mm into 10 equal parts that can be done by taking offsets of 5 mm. Press O enter, 5 enter and then click on the line, click above, line above, line above, line above. You can go on doing this till the line is divided into 10 equal parts. The diagonal scale is now ready and we just need to mark it. To mark it, use text type dt enter, click a little below this line over here, give a height of 4, press enter, angle make it 0 and here is where 0 starts. Press escape, copy this, pick it from this point over here and go on keeping it at the next end point. Now change the text to represent whatever length this is representing. So the main divisions are showing as meters, the subdivisions are showing as decimeters and these vertical lengths are showing as centimeters. To show the centimeters, I have to take the TT command once again, click here Take the height again as 4, but in angle instead of 0, you have to take 90 and then start typing centimeters. Click somewhere outside and press escape. Move it to the required position. So that's it. Now our diagonal scale is ready and we are ready to mark any distance on this. So in the question you can see we have been told to mark a distance of 4.7 meters. So let us go ahead and mark 4.76 meters on it. So zero line is over here. So from zero to four, we get exact four meters. From zero uh, and from zero backwards, we have to take seventh line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this line up to here, this bottom point, to the 4 line is exactly 4.7 meters, but we need 4.76. So for 0 0.06, we have to go upwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The intersection of these two is what we need. So from this point over here to this line, the measurement is 4.76. Let us show it by drawing a dimension line. It's showing as 119, but actually, you know, it is 4.76 meters. 119 is the drawing length, but we have to show the actual length on this, which is 4.76 meters. So this is it. This is how we can draw the diagonal scale and mark any distance on it. Thank you. See you in the next video.